Hello everyone, it is Night Sky 489 We are here, part 7 of the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. So, uh, where are we? We have the punies and we just made it to the swimming pool. And um, we, are, we are very close to getting the, uh, the Crystal Star. So, so it's great. And uh, there's nothing down here. All right. There is that. And I'll be if I can't just use coops right here. No, it's still too low. Man, can't get that. Oh, you know what? I bet once the thing the water fills up here, I'll be able to get it. Yeah. I should have figured as much. Okay, so here. Oh, I gotta bring. Okay, that's the room right there that will go into the Crystal Star room. That's it right there. But now, um, I have to fill up the water. And that's up here. There's a switch up ahead. Yep. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. And. There you go. So then my question is, how does the water get back up there? Does it have a pump? Secret item? Secret item? Yes. It's not really secret, but... Oh, a shrink stomp. Lowers attack power. That's pretty cool. Hey, where did all the punies go that were right here? Oh, they're downstairs. I didn't leave them there. There's a tube right there. There they all are. Jeez. Okay. Just gotta be careful. Oh. You know me. Can't leave without it. Ooh. Too close. Alright. Okay, we got them all. That's it. And this is the room right here. I th I'm like a hundred percent sure this is the room right here. That'll take us down to the level, and then the crystal stars just up ahead. Oh, well, hold on. Is there something here? No. Okay. I love how you need precisely a hundred and one punies. Like. What if later on they got more punies, like they, uh, maybe some died or they reproduced? Would their, would the number change automatically? I mean... Um, how's my health? Everything's good, dude. I have no problems. Okay, check. Yes. I knew it was worth checking them. And how about you? Nothing. Okay. Here we are. Man, we made it. We are almost done with this place. <sighs> okay, now... That unveils the crystal star, but he grabs it. It's really not a big deal. I'm going to kill him anyways. Then he starts his whole timer and everything, and then that happens. I'll, I tell you, Lord Crump is so annoying. We see him again uh, at Key Hall Key. He's disguised and he gets that ship. And then we see him for the last time towards the end of the game. But it is too much, I tell you. He is so annoying. All right. They put this timer up to scare you, but you know what? It's not a big deal. It's really not a big deal. Um, yeah, I can one-shot these guys now if you didn't know. And it makes, it makes it incredibly easy. Bring it on, chump. 
Yeah, that's right. You drink your potion. It don't matter. You're going to die the next turn. You literally just wasted your attack. Should have at least done some damage on me. That'd be if the AI was smart. Like, if this, if there was a hard mode where they every single move they took was actually meaningful. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Look, here, here are the timers going in. I'm still checking all of the different things. All right. Yeah, dude, the more star pieces I get, man, I'm going to get that power up, that power plus. That thing's going to be sick. Okay. Wow, look at that. I didn't even know that was there. Holy smokes. I am... I definitely have it. I'm going to have it. Just avoid the enemies, if there's any... I really do think... Wait, what's that? Uh, the walls just look like there was something over there. I don't know. I'm not even going to bother with getting the punies across this because they don't need to go across. Save, though, because we're going to fight. Should I have Koops? Yeah, Koops does a lot of damage. We're gonna get this X-Knot fella out of here. We're gonna destroy his uh, Magnus Von Groppel. Yeah, it doesn't even scare me. And I can see how much HP it's going to have, so that's pretty cool. Now, last time I played this, I didn't have the HP counter, but now that I have it, I know exactly how much energy I need to expend. I wish I had enough for the Tremor. Okay, he's got 30 HP. So what I want to do is I want Koops to give me the power plus, the power punch. Okay. And now we're going to we're going to power bounce and I'm going to hope this goes well. No! Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. How did I... I knew that was going to go bad. I just knew it. <sighs> so unfortunate. I'm not even going to waste my time. You know what? I'm not good at jumping on that thing because its proportions are so weird. Man, if only I had a, uh... That's okay. I'm going to ignore them. Why did I just use that? Oh my gosh. Well, now I'm back to normal size. Should probably kill those things. Probably be in my best interest. Man, if I could get the... Uh, I'm going to save up for that. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that hurts pretty bad. Ooh. Well, I don't want him... I don't want him to die, but now that he's on his back... Uh, uh, see what we can do.
Oh, that'd be nice. Oh well. Well, he dead. And now I just wasted my life shroom. I just wasted my life shroom. Because that would have been better on... Look, now he's just on the ground again. It's so... <sighs> this battle went uh, way further south than I wanted it to go. Yeah... Um... Not good. Well, one more hit will take him out. Let him die. I don't care. Koops is gay. I probably shouldn't say that. Because that's not that's not uh, correct to say anymore. That'll offend people. Okay. Won't matter. Probably won't offend anyone. Nobody watches these. Alright. He's done 30 points. That battle went really far south. I'll end up just using the uh, heal thing. Actually, I have an in coupon I can probably go with. Yeah, it's better for me to use an in coupon. Like I said before, that battle could have gone a lot better. That is the end of chapter two. Oh, I am glad to be out of that tree. I am glad to be out of there. Now we got a report back. Oh, we have to do the dancing thing now where we dance with Peach. It's going to be annoying. I love that this whole game's annoying, but I love it. So it's like tedious parts, but I honestly like the whole game. I'm glad to be getting the power plus. I'll be getting that soon. That'll increase my jump to three, giving me a total of six, which is a lot of power. Oh, of course it doesn't, but as soon as I go over here, it does. Look, I just had to be in that exact spot. How dumb. Okay. Is this Tech doing this again? Yes, it is. Tech, the, the horny robot of 2004, or whenever this game came out. I'm not sure when it came out. 2005, maybe? I think that's... Maybe 2006 is too late. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'd put in the ballpark of 04 to 06, probably. Maybe even later, but I doubt. I don't think so. No. No later than uh, 06, I'd say. Might be 07, but no later than that. Okay. Oh, dang it. Happy tech. I missed one, but I did pretty good. Ugh.
Sorry I'm not saying anything. I'm pretty deep in thought right now about some of the plans for the future of, uh, of what I'm going to be doing. I realize in Twilight Town when you become a shadow, I don't think you can go back down the pipe to get back to Rogueport because you need to have something written on yourself that's your name and when you're a shadow you don't have your name and that's the whole idea. You're not allowed going back to Rogueport as a stinking shadow. I find these parts here always pretty under. Dang it! That is, I'm not. I'm not even gonna say it. You know that I am really small, but I can't even get the things to power me up. So now I'm just so annoying. I was hoping to go full size, but now I can't. What if I died? Why are you running from me? You're. We're literally the same size. If I was huge, I could knock that out of the way. Well, I didn't uh, do a good job of that, now did I? Technically, aren't all Koopas his minions? Because he's the Koopa King, so why are they scared of him? They're supposed to be like... I know they're supposed to be scared of him, but like... Yeah, this part's pretty funny, I guess. They think he thinks that's Peach, but then he comes out and unrolls it and it's like, "Oh, you were stupid." Did you know if you buy Sleepy Sheep in Rogueport and resell them here at Petalburg, you get more money? They that's actually worth more. You could make a profit. You could just do runs back and forth selling Sleepy Sheep. And make a decent amount of coin doing that. In fact, I may look that up because that may be a way to get a bunch of coin. Like if you just fill your inventory full of sheep and fill your storage full of that, and then take them out and resell them. I don't know how fast you'll make coins doing that, but uh, who knows? Yes, that's right. We must leave. They say thank you for all your help. We'll be back. We'll be back, don't worry. Petunia does this thing where she gives you an egg and it's used as an ingredient. So when I'm completing all the ingredients, that's something I'm going to do. Do I have all my HP back? Yeah, look at that. They refilled it for me. That's cool. I don't have to pay money or use an in coupon to get all my stuff back up. So that's good. Uh-oh, it's Princess Peach. I'm sure you're very concerned about me. Please let me know I'm fine. More worried about you. That's probably the first time I've actually read anything in this game because I didn't speed through that. That's how you get past those, man. Zigzag your movement, and they'll never hit you. Alright, I am so glad to be back in Rogueport. You have no idea. This scenery is so nice compared to what I was in now. That gets annoying. What is that black crack, that thing right there? I almost feel like ground pounding that. Or maybe that's a place where you spring jump. <gasps> oh, did you see that, guys? First one. First one. I didn't even know that was there. I didn't even know that was there. That just begs the question. Is there... I know where a couple more are. How many do I have now? Because I want exactly... Is it 15? I don't think it's 12. Well, while I'm down here, I might as well do the next thing now, so... Yeah, you guys are annoying. Okay, let's get Flurry out. There's probably a cool badge in here. A Happy Heart Partner, yeah. I'll definitely put that on. Um, yeah.
Oh, you know what? Let's at least get the uh, Shine Sprite here. Come on, Mario. There we go. All right. Okay, so, Power Plus badge, investment with the rat that's back at the port, and I won't have any money to get any of the cool badges that salesman's got. Did it always look like that? I could have swore it looked, that looks very Asian. Like... Is this, is this the PAL ROM, or is that the USA ROM? I don't know, but I could have swore that looked more... I don't know. What, what am I even talking about right now? So now we go back to Professor Frankly, and he explains it's at the Glitz Pit, and you need a ride to get up there. And in order to do that, I need a ticket, and where do I get a ticket? I get it from... Don Pianta, but I need to do the code. Alright, um... So, what's on my to-do list? First, I want to go through here, and I know there is a, you know, you know what's over here. One of those, uh, those, those things. And I can't do that yet. Oh, look, yeah, there's one up there. When I get to the roof, I'll be doing that. Come on, Mario. I'll be happy to get Yoshi. Yoshi's pretty cool. Now, I'm just keeping my eye open for those thingy thingies. I think there's one right here, ain't there? Yeah, I figured. Come on, get off of that. There we go. I figured there was one there. Alright, now let's see if our boy's here. There he is! Oh, can you invest in more than a hundred? I invested you a hundred coins. I get a return on that later. I know I do. Sorry, all I could invest in was a hundred. I didn't have two hundred. There's Jumpman. There it is. Man, if I had the money for that. It doesn't matter because I can't even put it into use yet until um, until I get the one badge that allows me to jump on anything. So let me think. What am I doing now? I'm going to get a couple more star pieces. That's what I'm going for. There you go. How much does that take us to? That gives us 15. And... 
it might be 16, but I don't think it is. Now there's another one of those over here, I think, somewhere, somewhere. None over there, but let's see. I know there's another one over here somewhere. Yep, there it is. Okay, and now... And now, is it... I think it's a dried shroom and then a dizzy dial. Or is it a dizzy dial and a dried shroom? We're about to find out. Do I have inventory space? Yes. Dried shroom... And a dizzy dial. Yep, that's it. Uh, yellow. Yellow. I was afraid that wasn't going to work at first. Is there one here? Ah, no. Dang it. Okay, come on. Cool. Time to talk with the boss. Just a lot of stuff going on here. Um, he says, in exchange for a ticket, I must find his daughter and his uh, one of his uh, workers, which are seemingly running off together. You can purchase life shrooms right in there. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to pick up one. Oh, let's check our thing today. Okay, so if I go here... Wait, isn't that the same number? Oh, that's right. It's because I'm emulating, so it, the timer doesn't work. I figured as much. No lottery. Oh, let's talk to this boy and get some of our stuff uh, invigorated. Go ahead and cook several of my mushrooms, if you may. Dude, I, I wonder if I give him a dried shroom? He might make something decent out of that. A shroom fry. Sounds good, man. I could go for a shroom fry myself right now. Go ahead and cook the, di uh, the dried shroom and... Let's see what that gets. It's probably not going to be, but you know what, if he ruins it, um, that's better than whatever that dried shroom does. It only gives you like 1 HP. A mistake. It's still better because it also gives you an FP. Um... I'm sure the dizzy dial will go bad, but let's see what he does with the volt shroom. I'm going to gamble it. I don't have a chart in front of me that tells me what makes what, so I'm hoping something cool comes out of this. He might make a mistake, or it could just be a shroom fry. If it's that, oh my, that was a big explosion. Oh, it's another shroom fry. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'd rather have healing items than offensive ones, I guess. Okay, so... Um, let's just go talk to... Uh, let's go talk to Dazzle and get that... That power plus.
Okay, I think it's 15. I doubt it's 16. Alright, and it's... it is 15. Yes, please. I will take a power plus. They... Uh, no. They cost a lot of BP, but it is totally worth it. So, I'm going to remove the power bounce, and I'm going to remove... I need to remove some other stuff. It's hard to decide. Let's look at my equip badges and get a better view here. Um, I'm not going to probably stick with the power smash anymore. I'll keep, I want to keep my FP and HP pluses on, but, um, and I want to keep peekaboo on, so I'll remove, uh, you know what, the pretty lucky barely ever works, I'm going to remove that, and we're going to call it that, and now we're going to go ahead and put on the, there it is, nice. That brings our jump up to a whopping three now, and that is really cool. So, now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's go, um, oh my goodness, it is way past 30 minutes. It is 32 minutes in, so guys, I'm going to cut it off there, I'm a little late, but, um, do you guys see up in that corner there, that, uh, that green looking dog? Yeah, that's pretty cool. She tells you all about the crystal stars and the history. But anyways, I am ending the episode here. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment for your favorite part. Possibly give it a like if it's not too much trouble for you. And I will see you guys in the next one.